Hello, Bidgets. Today, my name is gonna be Fruit Roll-Up. Now, today is Friday, May 17th. I have my senior prom to go to in about six hours. And I just wanna show you the process it takes for a gay male. Maybe it's just me, but I'm gonna show you how long it takes for me to get ready. And I'm gonna show you the process because last year I did not go all out and this year I'm not holding back. We're just gonna jump into it. So first step, I have to shower. Gotta smell good for literally no one. Cause my date is myself. I want you guys to know that took one hour to edit. So like the video just because of that. But more importantly, I need to straighten my hair for the look I'm gonna do. So I can't just do it when it's all, you know, disheveled. Greasy fry texture? No, we're gonna fix it. And if you think I'm gonna record me showering, we got another thing coming. Don't worry, this won't turn X-rated. But when you have colored hair, there's some steps you have to take. Hey guys. So the number one rule for colored hair is that you cannot shower with hot water ever. It is Satan and sweat because it's hot and it will strip your color off in seconds. So I'm going to avoid washing my hair, but I'm gonna wash from my forehead down and I'm gonna wash my legs because apparently people don't do that and um that's gross. Also, if your shower is a faucet and you have to like pull up a tab to make it turn into a shower head, use the cold water running to wash your head already so you have some time. Also, I have to let purple shampoo sit in my hair for like minutes, so that's also why. Use cruelty-free shampoo as always. I'm not kidding when I say it's really purple. So now you're gonna wash the rest of your body while your purple shampoo sits and keeps your hair purple. A few minutes later. You'll know when you get all the shampoo out when your bathtub no longer looks like an alien died in it. Also, I went ahead and use the conditioner from the same brand and then I wash it out with even colder water so I'm kind of shaking right now I just I gotta get out hold on all right so you're gonna towel dry this as hard as you can and I'm gonna let it air dry just because if I blow dry it with hot air it will burn off and while it's drying I'm gonna put some renewing argan oil of Morocco to try to save my hair if I even can notice how it's almost empty now and you're gonna run it through your hair especially towards the ends of it Okay, now we let it air dry. Much later. <coughs> Ugh. Alright, so my hair is still drying. I had Chipotle and it's still not done, so that just shows how thick my hair is. By the way, I did put some of this toner on my face just so it can cool down because it was very dry after taking a hot shower. But I now have three hours to get ready. I'm going to try to use my time wisely and paint my nails. Yes, I'm a boy who can handle painting his nails. Plus, I'm wearing a red suit, so I need to have dark red nails because it'll look cool. Now, I'm not going to give a close-up of my nails because that's Gross. But I'll give you a glimpse of what I'm gonna do. This is the closest thing I have to a cuticle pusher, so we're gonna go with it. Basically, you wanna do this so no nail polish gets on your skin. So I'm just gonna do it to all of my nails, and I will see you in a few minutes. I actually have gotten my nails done once, and it was really fun. The Chinese lady showed me how to do it, so now I'm just gonna see if I can replicate it at home. Okay, then she went in with nail clippers and cut off the excess cuticle but she had like really fancy clippers and I just have these boring ones oh my god this is like a bloodbath okay maybe that did something I can't really tell I'm not gonna cut my nails I'm just gonna file them a little bit just because I would like to have something to paint on so you're just gonna do this to make sure there's no rough edges by the way I don't need any professionals telling me my technique is wrong I don't know what I'm doing okay all right we got nails. Now it is time to paint them. So let's just start with the thumb first. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm not gonna talk because I actually really need to concentrate on this. This is very hard to do actually. Just give me a second. I'm gonna try to wrap the tip. Maybe not actually. Damn, oh shoot. Uh, I have acetone, don't worry. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, I hate it. I'm sure people will notice my mistakes. The place we're going to is very dark, so I think I'll be fine just for trying. Ooh, looks so cute. All right, I'm gonna do the rest now. Much, much later. Bitch, it's a bloodbath. Oh my God. Okay, I will admit I kind of rushed them just because I'm banking on the fact that I have acetone and a cotton swab. So I'm just gonna go around all of these and try to clean it up. All right. I think this is the best I can do. I try to get it all off with acetone and then I repainted it so it doesn't look as chunky. I also don't have a top coat because I forgot to so I'm gonna have to ask my friend for some. But you're probably wondering why I have a headband and that is because, ow. Oof, that's my eye again. I have a bowl of wax heating up right now because I need to wax my eyebrows. See, 
right there. And I'm also going to shave my face while I'm at it. But the reason why I have my headband on is because I just don't want to risk waxing off a long piece of hair. Guys, I swear to God, every time I paint my nails, I have to carry stuff like this. What is this? Why am I doing this? But that should take about five minutes to warm up, and then I'm gonna zoom in on these brows. Oh my god, how did I do that? Guys, I swear to god, I don't know how I'm doing this, but this is very trippy right now. So I have my bulb wax right here. It's basically done. Um, I'm gonna try to show you what it looks like. But my favorite facial feature is my brows, so I need to make sure these are perfect. I usually don't need to wax anymore. Sometimes I just tweeze, maybe like once or twice a week, because it's gotten to the point where I don't have to do anything and these brows will look the same because I've done this since eighth grade. All right, so what you're gonna do is take a chunk and you're gonna go in the direction where your brows grow. Oh, so slick. And you wanna ball it up at the end so you have something to rip off. Aha. Like that, just enough so you can actually lift it off. And now I'm gonna do it on the other side. You don't wanna go too close to your brow because then you could actually take off more than what you need and that is no, no, that is no bueno. It's also basically super glue so it gets everywhere, including your nails. So by the time I do this one, this one's already done. So you're gonna three, two. Yeah, they don't even hurt. And then you're gonna go three, two. Obviously I've done this many years so it doesn't hurt me anymore, but if this is your first time, oh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt real bad. Oops, that's a little bit too fresh, so it kind of burns my skin, but that's okay. I like the feeling. This is what my unibrow looked like. Now the risky part is getting those brow hairs under. So you want to lift your eyebrows up. Oh no, oh, and that's dripping. <gasps> okay. Oh no. Oh God. I'm gonna keep this eye open for as long as I can. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for that to dry, and it's not on my lashes, thank God. All right. Yeah, how's your day going? Holy shit. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Ow. Okay, I survived. Oh, I'm crying a little bit. See, that's why you want to wait for the wax to dry it a little bit. Otherwise, it's liquid and then it'll hurt. But let's just get these off now. Okay. And if it hurts a lot, you can just put pressure on it. But I'm no pussy. Okay, so we're gonna wait for this to dry just a little bit. So we don't repeat what happened last time. Like I was saying, Push your eyebrow hairs up so you get to see which parts you actually need to wax. Lift your eyebrow as high as possible and just place a dot right there. Just like that. And then twist. Oh god, not again. Oh, okay. Maybe my technique has been off lately. Oof. Just gonna get the other side really quick. All right. Oh, that should be good enough. Now you can just turn off the wax and don't touch it until it's fully dry because it burns a lot. By the way, you don't want to wax it when it's fully dry because that hurts a lot. You want to take it off while it's still a little bit malleable. Except I went a little bit low and that could easily take off my eyes. So I'm not going to do that right now. Oh God, this could really hurt right now. All right, you know what? I'm just going to... Okay. Oh no, it's getting all over my nails. Oh, I need to repaint this one now. Three, two, one. Ow! <laughs> Beauty is pain. Oh my god. And if you miss a few spots, just touch it up by getting tweezers. Don't wax twice in a row, that's asking for death. Alright, I'm gonna repaint this nail and we'll be back. Alright, I fixed them and now all I have left to do is straighten my hair. I have a mini straightener because I'm, I'm mini. But everyone, including my assistant principal, wants me to have slick back straight hair and I have not done that in years. So I'm nervous, but... My principal told me to, and my, he's gonna be at prom. I have to make him proud. He's also watching this video, so hello. So, I'm just gonna run this through. Let's see how long my hair actually can get. Oh my god. Oh my god. It goes over my eyes now? <gasps> now that I think about it, I should probably be straightening my hair back. So let's do that now. Change of course. Oh, see, this is the problem. My hair naturally goes to one side. So if I try to like push it straight back, it gets really messy. I can also see some hair falling out. So that's good news. This only has one degree setting. So hopefully it's not like Fahrenheit 500. And I'm not gelling my hair because I hate gel. I'm going to be putting mousse in it. And then I'm going to have some pieces of hair slip through like the bottom. Like giving you a Zayn Malik moment, you know? You know what I mean? Let's take a look. What do we think? I thought I would hate it, but I guess this is because I have really long hair for once. This is the longest it's been. And when you have long, voluminous hair, you're allowed to do this. Ooh. Oh, I did not realize how much I like this too. But that is not for prom. We have to be fancy for prom. This side needs a little more extra care, so I'm gonna do that a little bit more. And then I think we're ready to mousse. And after that's done, we have to do makeup. After makeup, we put on the suit and then we are done. Ooh, 
I love the smell of burning hair. So it should look kind of like that once we're done. Like, I kind of have a lot of options now. So I have argan oil mousse because my hair needs repair. It's like whipped cream. Don't eat it, kids. Rub it through your hands and then through your hair. Now, this is the first time I'm trying this hairstyle. I never really practiced it before. So if this does not work, oh well. Oh my god. I need more. My hair just soaked it up and evaporated it at the same time. Look, where does all this mousse just go? It just went away. Okay, I'm gonna make it do like a little bit of a wave and then I'm gonna drop some pieces of hair down. Like that one. Nope, I don't want that one. I want this one. Nope, never mind. I choose this one now. There's like one simple piece that's gonna fall. Okay, I need a- Whoa, that's really hard to come through. Whoa, this is so hard to come through, guys. Ugh. So that's what it looks like slicked back. I don't know where my comb just went. Where is it? How do I lose a comb? Never mind, I found it. This screams get acne in one line. I also need you to curl a little bit. Oh god, hair. Hair is starting to solidify, which also means not much time left to change my hair around. And you just stay just like that. Oh boy, I wish I had hairspray right now. I'm gonna put one more layer of mousse on, then I'm gonna put on the makeup. Oh my god, that's so hard to come through. This is how you curl a piece of hair. See? It worked! Basically perfect, I just gotta let it set in. Hair done. Now all I'm gonna do is put on a little bit of makeup, and then I should be all ready for pro. So this is my makeup area fitting so i originally wanted to go for a red makeup because i was planning on having silver hair but i can't bleach my hair that many times in a week unless i want it to fall off so instead we're gonna go with a simple silver makeup this is my beauty blender it also expanded a lot in water which i think is so weird i don't know makeup is weird to me guys so i got some NYX Total Control Drops. I don't know if it's the right shade for me because I couldn't test it out. And then I got some Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm a beauty guru, guys. Trust me. How do I open this with my nails? Oh god. Okay, now the ultimate test. Is this my shade? Mmm. We'll see. Also, my hair is starting to fall already. Um. I'm gonna just ask my friend for some hairspray when I get there. I'm just gonna test a few drops right here. Because we want to hide the fact that we have been stressed. Hello? I pick like the perfect shade. I'm so proud of myself, guys. So, I know you bounce it around like this. I'm just gonna let it do its job. I'm just gonna put some more on some areas that need more coverage. I don't have powder, by the way, because I'm an idiot. All right, I like it. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be my shade at all. Oh my God. How do you open it? Why is it stuck? Ah, there is a sticker on there, but problem. I have the nails. Dude, that's like a perfect match. That's a scary perfect match. I don't appreciate that. Don't ask me how I managed to eyeball that myself. Do this until something happens. Is anything happening? Oh, yeah. Stuff is happening now. And then we blend. Look up while blending. It's in my eye. Uh, okay. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna put some dots on my face because pigmentation and my mustachio mustache is a little bit too bright i'm just trying to step back and make sure i don't look stupid but i'm also trying to step forward to make sure i don't look stupid all right i think i'm good i'm just gonna keep doing this because i'm bored and this feels really nice i feel pretty okay eyeshadow i have the magic by juvia's and what i'm just gonna do is take silver liner in my waterline which hurts a lot and then purple as eyeliner because i want to open my eye now give me a second because i'm not really good at this oh my god now i understand why people who do makeup always have messy rooms okay so just uh ow ow i hate this feeling Whew, good lord jesus and then i'm just gonna wing it out ever so slightly and lift up my eye a little Oh, oh my god, it feels so weird. Oh, maybe that's because eyeshadow is actually in my eye. Mm, wonder how that happened, Frederick. <sighs> keep going, keep going. <sighs> okay, got one eye done. This one is always harder to do. Uh, I can't tell what's my eye and what's my waterline sometimes. So, occasionally it gets into my eye. Okay. <laughs> now to take some purple over this area. <sighs> Asian eyes are so difficult. I hate it. 
I hate it. All I ask of you, Frederick, is to not make it so thick. Your too much gene is not welcome right now. Okay, that's all I needed. That's fine. Oh my god, my hair is falling out. I need actual hairspray. Hold on. Mine will look prettier than all the girls. All the orange girls who look like Trump's daughters. Once again, y'all clearly did not get the memo of my prom video. I warned you. Damn it, I just winged this part out, which means I have to wing the other part out slightly. Okay. Okay, that's all I need to do. That's fine. Damn. No, I almost just put purple in my brows. We're not gonna do that. We're done. I want mascara. I am terrible at applying mascara, but I want it to look like I actually have lashes. Ah! Lift. Lashes. Please. All right, I'm gonna break apart some of my bottom lashes because they are kind of chunky and I do not want to look like a spider tonight. <sighs> I think we're done. Oh, my eyes are burning a little, but it is worth it because I feel cute. Time to get into my suit. First item, the black shirt. Currently, I look like a waiter, a really gay waiter. Wow, my eyes are red. I hope they're not that red during the prom photos. Next, we're gonna put on my pants. These are my skinny pants. I'm wearing black shoes and black socks, don't worry. Oh damn, now I really look like a waiter. Or I'm playing in the orchestra. Now, the best part of all. Ugh, oh, it's everything I wanted it to be. It's not a yellow tuxedo. But that's okay. Look, it matches perfectly with my nails. Now I have to put on my bow tie. This is the part where you get choked. Abby? Come. Um, okay. Wait, I'm almost done. Um, come when you're ready. Okay. Bye. Bye. That is the sign. It is time to go. Tighten it so you get choked even more. Lift the collar down. <laughs> I'm going to die. <sighs> I'm ready. Only thing I have to fix is my hair a little, but other than that, I'm ready to go to prom. But I gotta hurry up, so if you guys enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below, or subscribe for more videos every Saturday slash Sunday. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot the cuffs. Wait. Nah. I hate the idea of cuffs. Anyways, I love you guys and everything is less than three. I'm gonna go enjoy my prom. See y'all later.